Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cavell. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to be making a baby announcement, like one of those like little um, baby stats. So if you want to see how I made that, just keep on watching. And also a huge shout out to today's sponsor, so J&J Packaging. They sent me over a package with some vinyls and that's what I'm going to be using for today's project. Um, so the package that they sent me, I'm going to insert a little um, clip like on my screen, like how it came like in the box like um, from Amazon. Um, and I'll put the link below of the actual um, product. So it's like 80 um, permanent adhesive vinyl um, sheets and they're 12 by 12 and the packaging is so cute you can um reuse it it has a little flap um that opens with the little velcro in the package there is 70 um color sheets and there is 10 um transfer tape so let's open it up so So inside your package, it comes with J&J packaging, um, little card on the inside. Sorry, I don't even know if you can see that. I think there you go. And it just says J&J packaging. Your happiness and satisfaction is our only priority. Thank you so much for your order. Best wishes to you and yours. And it also has a little scraper tool and that is perfect because I don't know where the one that I that came in my little Cricut box I don't know where it is. So that's awesome that it comes with a little scraper as well And we're gonna check out the colors quickly There's a wide range of um colors here and let's see if I can just pop in what they look like like that's a lot um so the colors really they range there's some dark um yellows some bright yellows um two different tones of orange um this seems to be a gold I like all the different colors that it comes in um, so that way, you know, if you're doing different projects, um, or like layered projects, you have like, um, you know, like all of the colors possibly that you could need, um, to be able to get that done. So I really like that. So as well for the vinyl sheets, I'm going to test them out just for like durability, like how well, um, they cut how well I'm able to weed them, how they kind of adhere to the material. So I'll go through all of those things with you a little bit more once we get into the video. For my project, I'm going to be using the white um, permanent vinyl and the transfer paper. You're also going to need your weeding tool with some scissors and your scraping tool. I also have my round acrylic disc and I think this one's um, six inches. Also um, a little paintbrush to be able to paint on the back of my um, acrylic and something to put my paint in. I'm thinking I may add some gold flakes to it. I'm not sure as yet but so far I have my gold flakes. And that's the color paint that I am going to be using. I also have some Mod Podge. Um, this is just like the um, acrylic sealer. So to be able to seal the back of the project once we are done painting. And I just have my little A3 craft mat that I'm going to be working on today. And of course, my Cricut Maker, that's going to cut out our project. And how can I forget my mat? And I'm also going to list all of the items that I'm using in the description down below. 
Okay, so starting off, I'm going to be working on my project in design space and I'm just resizing, making sure everything is in order. If you do want to see a detailed tutorial on how I did the design, leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to share that with you. Um, so I'm going to be removing the circle, deleting that as I don't want to cut that out. And then I'm going to weld the project together and then cut that out. I just want you guys to see um, the quality of it once I um, cut it out so this is what it looks like and um, I also wanted to let you know you also have to be very mindful because this shiny side may seem like the front of the actual vinyl but this is actually the back like it's the uh, um, clear um, plastic piece so you want to make sure that you're not cutting this side up um, as this is the actual proper front side of the vinyl okay so now i'm just going to be weeding the vinyl and honestly this vinyl weeds so effortlessly i didn't have any problems at all now I'm just going to be measuring my transfer tape and then just applying that to the design. Very important next step, please remember to remove the clear film from your acrylic disc. Lifting the transfer tape for me was the most challenging part as the lettering would not stick to it. Um, I find that the adhesive that's on the vinyl is pretty strong, which is you know, it's a great thing. It's going to make for a great application um, once I get that down on the acrylic. Now I'm just removing the clear film from the back and this is what the project looked like when the vinyl is laid. Now I'm just going to be adding some gold flakes and then I'm going to move on to painting the back and then just sealing it. So just keep on watching for the final results. Okay, so now that it's all painted and dried, this is what the project looks like. I did two coats of the paint and then I just sealed it. And honestly, this project turned out really great. Um, I love how well the vinyl adhered to the acrylic. So I want to thank J&J &J Packaging for sending over the vinyls. I really appreciate it and they were pretty awesome to work with. Um, so if you want to check out the 80 pack of vinyl, the link will be in the description bar down below. As well as there will be a discount code. Um, so check that out and make sure to give it a like. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys thought about today's DIY project. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.